Hi, I'm Allison Smith, a parenting coach helping others create a win-win relationship with their child. Please enjoy this quick tip and feel free to leave me a question or comment. Next step is looking at the three tenets of gentle parenting. Empathy, connection, and empowerment. So the first one is that it, under empathy is that I show empathy to my child. So sounds good, but what does it look like in the day to day? So let's talk about um, a situation this morning with my son. He is just about four years old, and so we are having a party for him today. So he's been really excited, obviously, right? Um, he has an older sister. His older sister has been has been feeling a little bit left out. So she wants to play with his toys, and she she's used to telling him what to do because she's the older sister. So it's been really hard for her to step back and let him have his moment. So he's had a little bit of that pressure too. We also have company, which is great, lots of fun, but it does throw off the routine a little bit. He's just in a different frame of mind. So knowing that, stepping back and looking at the situation as the parent, I know that he is a little bit extra emotional, a little overtired, and a little excited. So he was a bit upset this morning. So I have a feeling from what I overheard while I was working that he was feeling that he wasn't hurt. But what I, when I came into it and when the volume was loud enough for me to hear, he started stomping his feet, he was starting to growl, and when the growling wasn't heard, then he started to shout a little bit. So a couple years ago, my instinct might have been to get right in there and tell him to settle down, not a big deal, and to dismiss his, his feeling, basically. But what I did instead was this, and this is where the empathy comes in as a gentle parent. So I came in, I got down to his eye level, I said, sounds like you're really feeling frustrated. And the immediate reaction was an outpouring of all of his frustration. And that's okay, I took that calmly and I just listened because he needed to tell me that. But once he was able to tell me that, then it was a different story. So he was able to express what it was that was bothering him. And had I just dismissed it, that would have been bottled up. And so we would not have had the same result at all. So as soon as he was able to express what he wanted clearly, then it wasn't such a big problem. I hope you find this quick tip useful in your family. It's just one of a number of ideas you can use on this topic. To dig deeper into how the gentle parenting approach may help you with this topic, I encourage you to click the link for a description of the full parenting guide. I hope to see you there.